Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. And uh, we are continuing the giant tree, which is totally not the Deku tree. I think this was made way before the Deku tree was even considered. So, uh, but the parallels are there. I, I noticed that. Anyway, uh, we're still progressing through, still getting poisoned. But well, we should be nearing the end. I know I tend to say that, and it's not true, but hopefully this time. I don't remember this being a really long dungeon, mainly because it's not the main dungeon of this particular area. But most areas do have two dungeons. The uh, the first area had the the forest, and then the uh, what the bone dungeon, and then the second area had that uh, kind of falls basin. And then the pyramid. And then the fireplace had the volcano itself. And then the lava dome. And this one has this giant tree. And then the second dungeon, which we haven't gotten to yet. And then there's the final dungeon, obviously. a good time, I guess. Hey, level. Still not as strong as Kaylee, though. Alright, so this is a fun part. We have to fall, and then latch. Now, I don't have to time it. I can just hold A, like, any time. Thankfully. If this was a timing puzzle, that'd be ridiculous. More leeches to fight. I'll be honest with you, if I saw a giant leech like that, I'd be pretty scared. <laughs> I, think, I think most people would. They're just so kind of gross and... Ugh. A giant lamprey or whatever. Alright, so now we got... Evil Pudding. Some skeletons. Take the skeleton route, see what happens. Two hits will drop him. Don't headbutt me, you don't even have a head. You're just a skull. More like a skull butt. Oh, there's a uh, door I can open there. Yeah, now we're hitting the enemy, so I can't kill in one hit. Oh great, there's multiple doors. Which means I'm gonna be lost immediately. <laughs> using doom powers. That's not good. I didn't realize there were death spells in this game. I forgot. Alright, so there's two doors there, three doors. I think that's the way around. Well, let's just take them one by one. Apparently they all lead to the same room anyway. Let's go up here see what's going on. And that's a treasure chest. You know, wooden box, whatever. At least the best part is, once you kill the enemies, they're gone. So if I go the wrong way and I have to go back, I'm not full of enemies. It's just the fact that I had to fight the enemies to get here would be the problem. And this was a big pile of nothing. I think it just leads to this wooden box over here. Well, darn. Let's try the next door. I'm also keeping an eye on the left path there to see if it goes anywhere. 
Oh, apparently they both go the same place. Alright. This may be a little bit tougher. Let's take out the skellies. I'll heal after this. Definitely heal after this. Yeah, I looked good. I don't think I'd ever want to be attacked by any kind of ooze. I mean, who knows what it would do. You could either dissolve your skin, which would be undoubtedly horrible. Or it would, like, compress you to the point where you break your bones. Like, oh, it's just, you know... The, the entire concept of just living muck is just <laughs> creepy. I mean, I guess the easiest thing I would do is just kind of stick to you and... Kind of like, uh, Ghostbusters 2. Maybe make you mean. I mean, for any of my viewers who play Dungeons and Dragons, like, think of the gelatinous cube. It's just a, a square of just evil gelatin that <laughs> dissolves your body. And it's, like, nearly invisible, so you run into it and smack head first and just gets stuck in it and dissolves you slowly. It's gross. It's gross! Long story short, I wouldn't be a great hero. I, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'd see these things and be like, nope, I'm out. Giant spider? Nope. Giant evil black pudding? Nope. Giant lamprey? Nope. Skeleton? Maybe. I could probably handle a skeleton. I just throw something really heavy at it and make sure, uh, you know, it breaks apart. But if it was like an army of skeletons, maybe not. At that point I'd be like, no. <laughs> I hope this is actually leading somewhere. This is just a long gauntlet of enemies now. how it electrocutes you. Where are you storing that electric charge? Alright, so we finally get across. Looks like I can go and get that if I wanted to. Might be something useful. Cure potions. Seeds. I could use some seeds, even though I don't. Even though I kind of store my magic. I think uh, during the last bits of the game is when I'm just gonna go all out and use magic a lot. Eh, better than nothing. All right, back on track. See, what, 
What kind of monsters would I be okay with fighting? Now that I'm thinking about it. I, I really don't know. I think every monster in one point or another is going to be like, Ugh, why don't you stay away from me? Maybe I'd be better off as a long-range person. No, you know what? Screw that. I'm not even... <laughs> I thought it was just one enemy. Okay, so... The boss is down on this floor, I think. So we can get to him and fight him. I don't know. If, if I was stuck in an RPG at some point, I guess I'd be okay with monsters that just don't look creepy. Like, I probably wouldn't want to fight like giant eyeballs or anything. That would probably bother me. I don't know. I think if it came down to it, I'd, you know, step up and do it, obviously, but... The thought of it now is just like, Ugh, no. I don't know, it's a weird thought. Would you be a hero if you were doing this? Let me know. Let me know what enemies would creep you out to the point you didn't want to fight them. <laughs> you can beat Ghidra, the monsters will disappear. This is Ghidra, apparently. What's up, Ghidra? I'm gonna take out your friends. Paralyzed gas, come on. You gonna do that to me? Smack me three times. Put me to sleep. This is not going the way it should. They're, they're hitting me with every status effect they can. And now we're pit. Oh. oh, he's weak against wind. That's good to know. So when I inevitably fail. <laughs> okay. We have a plan. <laughs> you know, our plan is Meteor first. Haha. Uh -huh. And we're asleep again. Just headbutted me three times. Oh, skeletons are weak against wind too. Goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna heal, because things got dicey really fast there. He's white. Still not uh, changing its icon there. There he goes. Lost a head. Oh, now it's mad. I'm gonna heal again. I don't want to screw this up just by being careless. So you're weak against wind, but then you use wind. Makes no sense to me. But you're defeated anyway. Goodbye. Alright, so I'm gonna, uh... We're gonna see, uh, the fruits of our labor on the next episode, because it's actually a long... semi-long kind of sequence, so... Don't want to take you... take up too much of your time here. So on the next episode, we'll, uh... We'll see what happens.
I hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.